Good morning everyone, it's Jim. Good mood today. Um, out of a help, bit of charity shopping. I've not been here for a good old week or so, so hopefully a bit of stock rotation and no more resellers. <laughs> Although from recent videos on YouTube, I know there's several who come to this very same place. But anyway, I still manage to find good stuff. So, um, we're gonna have a look. I've got it, I don't know why, I've just got a feeling today we're gonna get something good today. So, uh, see how we get on. Right, so uh, good morning, Jerry Shop in there. Um, found a few bits. Um, some other bits that I'm, yeah, I'm not sure about, but we'll see because the return's not massive, but the cost's not massive. Um, yeah, basically, those were there were some extendable golf retrievers. They were $1.99 each. Now, I sell them for around $6.95, maybe a little bit less. So, taking fees off, postage off. What's that? It's just fees off would be 15%, so that'd be about 70 pence. Uh, 6.30 postage. Uh, I'd make probably two quid, probably double my money. It's only a small return, but it might be worth getting them. The others were some wallpaper, same price we'd sell them for, so same return. So I think I might go back and get them. I'm trying to expand, obviously, trying to bring in money. Any profit's profit. Um, there was about 10 of each, so 10 two pound profit per item, 20 quid. I might go back and get them, we'll see. But anyway, let's move on to the stuff I actually did buy. Um, there was one really good find, one that I think might be a good find, and the rest was my general sort of stuff. So board game, labyrinth, but this is the Disney edition. Um, good condition, it was 3.99, but that'll sell for probably 12.95, maybe more. Um, so you can see now why the, um, Three for 50 pence sale that I went to was good value because I paid four pounds for that, just that one. I only paid 450 for all the others. Actually, an update on that. I've gone through all of those board games. Now, as I said, a number of them are incomplete. I think we bought 29 board games, wasn't it, in total? I'd say that probably 12 of them are incomplete. So I'm going to see if there's any value in spares, but I doubt it. So they'll probably just be chucked. But even so, from that, we're still going to make a good return on what we have got that's complete. Um, I found a load of games. Um, Stu's the expert on, on games, but I thought I'd buy these. They were all 50 pence each. Um, and for, the guy wasn't happy because he had to scan each one individually. But there's all those. And the stuff that stands out to me, Red Dead Redemption, Hitman, Revolution, Absolution. Um, there's about five Assassin Creeds, um, a Wii Fit as Under Fitness, a Family Trainer, Dead Space. For 50 pence each, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm not sure. I'll do a bit of research, whatever isn't worth, we'll just um, straight, straight to CEX for a, uh, for a voucher. Um, in the same shop, that was all in the um, Dr. Bananos, found this rather nice Vans, I don't know if you can see it, a messenger bag. Um, really nice actually, it's a laptop one I think because it's quite padded inside there. Good condition, I paid £3 for that. Whether I am going to sell it, I'm not sure yet because that's ideal for walking around car boots but I have already got a VW Camper one similar so I don't know. But even so, return, I don't know, maybe 12 quid, something like that. This caught my eye because it's Call of Duty and then it caught my eye again because it's brand new with tags. Um, it's a travel mug, so it's brand new. Someone bought this from TK Maxx for £4.99, but the RRRP was £11.99. Um, so I researched it while I was in the shop. I paid two fifty, and it, that should sell for around £10.50. Um, so uh, not too bad. 
A um, few normal bits of clothing. I'm not going to go through all of it. Um, there's a Warwickshire cricket um, polo, a vintage Greg Norman golf polo, which is quite nice. Um, these were all about two pounds each. What else have we got? That's a Ted Baker shirt. The stuff I will pull out. This is a. This is. I've not seen these sort of things before. This is pink, obviously, golf. Um, but it's a pink t-shirt. Um, now, normally, really, you wouldn't be able to wear that on the course because it's a t-shirt. But it just stood out to me because I've not seen a t-shirt like that before. So I snap that one up. Um, we'll show that. That's a Ted Baker jumper there. Bought this. Is a next tweed jacket. It's even got the elbow pads. Can't be that. I paid it's four pounds for this. I've sold. I'm pretty sure it's the exact same one, but in a lot smaller size recently for twenty. This is a forty-four regular, and it looks a bit better quality than that one. So I can probably bump up the price twenty-five, maybe twenty-nine ninety-nine. Not bad from four ninety-nine. What else have we got in here? Rav Ferencia, yes, it's genuine. Another game there, Gears, Gears of War 1 and 2. It's got 360. Yeah, so the stuff, um, the, the clothing that is more interest, some football shirts. That's a Blackburn Rovers shirt. It's 2010. Um, what size is this? It looks only about a medium, but nice condition. A few years old, so. Uh, oh, there's my phone. I better stop the video. Right, well, that was... Have you got cavity wall insulation? No, I haven't. Go away. <laughs> so, yeah, Blackburn Rovers shirt. This is an old one. Um, this is a goalkeeper shirt, but unfortunately it's kids. It's Aston Villa. You can see how old it is. Sponsored by Rover. Uh, when did Rover go out of business? Blimey, that was a few years ago. So it's a goalkeeper shirt. It is only a junior, but it is king edition. And... Look, Good condition, and I say because it's an older one. I'm not sure when that is. 90s, maybe early 2000s. I'll have to do a bit of research, but for two pound, all good. And the last one, sport-wise, is an Island rugby shirt. Again, two pound. It is only a small, but nice. Probably sell them shirts for around the 15 pound each mark, maybe a bit more. But what I'm thinking here is the returns on these are the same as buying them. Uh, other things maybe i should go back anyway blah, blah, blah. what else have we got in here that's a nice calvin klein jumper how much was that two pound quite nice that one um yeah but skipping over a few things don't need to show that now now then the two pickups that one is a good pickup and the other one i'm hoping is a good pickup but i did pay up for it that is this madman boxed set um this is the Seasons 1 to 5 Limited Edition, the Whiskey Glass Edition. So let's open her up. So you can see, oh actually, that is pretty mint. It's got a special whiskey glass. It's not branded. I thought that would have Mad Men on it, but maybe that's from the programme. I don't know. I've not seen Mad Men. Um, but you've even got little um, placemats. Uh, still sealed and then you've got as i say seasons one to five on dvd in there now i paid up for this um i think i overpaid for it as well i paid 20. now i need to do a bit of research on it the only reason i paid that is because there is one sold on ebay for 20 but it didn't have the glass it's only the dvds so i'm wondering with the glass if i can pump that up quite a bit more we'll see if not, I'm going to see how much I can get for that on Amazon because I'm hoping to start Amazoning. I just see myself in the face with Amazoning soon. Um, and hopefully there should be a return on that. But fingers crossed, we'll see. Now then, the good purchase of the day. So I told you on the intro I had a feeling I was going to get something decent. This. This is a Toshiba um, recordable DVD recorder. Um, HDMI, 1080p, blah, blah, blah. Very nice. It's even got the remote control. Paid 20 for it, which is paying up, but you have to pay up for stuff nowadays in charity shops. The return on this, they're selling on eBay some without the remote control for $59.95. So with the control with the remote control, I'm definitely gonna get that as a minimum, hopefully a bit more. Um so from 20 to 60, 
that's a minimum of what about 32 pound profit roughly off the fees etc so not too bad a find that really good quality toshiba i say it's hdmi um it's it's a nice unit so for the money good return so that's it really so there's quite a bit of clothing there that i just rushed through but uh who wants to see all of that <laughs> some good returns though on some of it because it's all decent decent stuff today um I might go back now and go and get them other bits or, or or next time I'm in there, get them other bits probably. We'll see. Um, yeah, so that's that today. Charity shopping today. Um, go and get all this sorted out and hopefully get some of it listed today. Ah, it's all go. Right, see you on the next one, guys. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't. It's really appreciated. See you later.